Hello everyone and welcome back to another MRC chess game from 1923 from Belgium. And in this chess game we have George Koltunowski with the white pieces and his opponent is Arthur Denkelblum. And both were important top level chess players but Koltunowski was especially very important. He made many contributions for the chess theory. He was an author who wrote many important chess books. And in this chess game, Koltunowski has the white pieces. By the way, Koltunowski was also capable of playing massive blindfolded simuls. Some of his blindfolded records still haven't been broken yet. So Koltunowski starts the game with playing e4, c6, d4, d5. We have the Karakan defense, knight out, capturing the pawn, capturing back, bishop out, bishop to d3, and now Koltunowski is sacrificing the d pawn. Queen takes on d4, but developing the knight with the tempo. Queen back, defending the queen. Queen to e2, knight to f6. It looks like a blunder because Koltunowski captured the knight. This is checked, the e pawn is pinned. So capturing towards the center and then capturing the bishop. But black says I have check. Queen to a5, check, blocking and then capturing the bishop and getting back. The material but now Koltonowski castled from the queen side and I prefer white in this position because black is far behind in the development also the king is two moves away from castling because the bishop on f8 is blocking the king Koltonowski is doing okay so he also has the open d file and black wants to exchange the queens but not exchanging the queens queen to d3 and black captured one more pawn. Queen takes on a2. And this was actually a blunder. Sometimes at chess, being greedy can hurt you pretty badly. Just like in real life. What would you do in this position? Why queen takes on a2 was a big bad blunder. <laughs> so if I give you a couple of seconds, can you guess the next move of white? What would you do in this position? Your time is starting from now. Okay, so Koltonowski played a killer move and he played queen to d8. Check, sacrificing to queen. And did you see this move? This is the only move king takes on d8. And bishop to a5, this is double check, discover check. So you can't interpose because this is checking the king with the bishop and with the rook at the same time. So... Black can only play king to c8 and king to e8, but it really doesn't matter because after moving the king, we have rook to d8, checkmate. A beautiful checkmate by George Koltonowski. And this was a very nice chess miniature, which was also pretty instructive. And that's it. So I hope you have enjoyed watching this video and I hope to see you next time. Take care and bye bye.